this is you do uh, uh, the uh, portrait the portrait version of uh, that's unwieldy though doing it like this it's easier with the phone actually <laughs> Anyways, we're heading into the village. I got to stop at Jamie's. Uh, wants me to check the books. The, his sales books there for a couple of things. Okay, I'm hating this. Uh, this will be a regular video. <laughs> I don't know how to... Anyway. Blah! Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish and Camp Life with me, Lad from the Woods. And this is actually a long form video. I'm in the village of Perth. And I'm doing some shopping for myself and my mother. And I've decided to stop at the weed store. And the pet food store so I need to get some litter for my lovely little creatures because their current litter is time to change it's your fucking problem this guy gives me a fucking look like that it's like fuck you arsehole didn't see my camera I know what I'm doing here sorry about that people you get to see a nice ugly side of me anyway uh that's the place there, Shiny Bud it's called. <laughs> and that's the groceries and Starbucks coffee, liquor store behind me. I should just pick up my mother a bottle of her whiskey because she's going to be asking soon again anyway. Okay, well, let's go do this. Oh, hey everyone. Welcome back to Fish and Camp Life, uh, round two here. I was trying to work the camera so it's like this for the things, but I ended up just using the phone to go all the way in, but I'd never filmed uh, the long form version of uh, everything. So anyway, uh, I uh, just coming back from doing groceries. I don't know why this is, is that thing zoomed wrong? No. I don't know. Anyway, I went to Jamie's, uh, checked out some paperwork I needed to check out. Then I went to the grocery stores. Then I stopped at the hash store. <laughs> it's not a hash store, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like you buy weed and the like, and then there's hash there. And I'm really excited to try it. So, meantime, though, uh, we have groceries to unbag here. And I ended up buying a whole lot more than I wanted to. I mean, we needed stuff, but Jamie put aside $140 for me, so that was a big help. I ended up using that money for more new cat, like not new, well, new, but like, you know, time to replace the cat litter. I picked up a big bag of their good food. Stuff that, you know, that's not like cereal that keeps them from getting diabetes and all that. And, uh, oh, there's the hash. I was wondering where I did with it. I'm just putting on the tripod here. Um, I'm in the mood for music too, strangely enough. Uh, okay, I don't know where I'm gonna put you guys for now. I, have still, I still have to go back outside, but I'm not gonna carry you guys with me. But there's the hash I got from the, what's it called, Shiny Buds. And the company that makes this uh, is called Good Supply. And the, the brand is Good Ol' Hash. And I was saying to her, and I said that in the one minute videos was, is that I said to the lady at the, you know, the, 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 at, the at the desk, I said, good old, good old, what, what is it called? <laughs> good old hash, okay? Good old hash. I said, good old hash was the 1970s and the 1980s. 
you know, and that ended in these parts because weed became the thing, but we used to get all kinds of Lebanese hash and it came from Lebanon, okay? People were bringing it back and forth and then there was Jamaican finger gum. There was lots of hash. People were making it here, like Romeo and Juliet hash. Then there was just Romeo hash and Juliet hash and all that other stuff. Anyways, good black hash. But then it all disappeared and then the hash that was around, they were cutting it with Vicks and all kinds of shit, even dog shit for some of it. Anyways, um, uh, we're going to see if it is truly good old hash. So anyway, I'm going to go out and get the rest of the groceries. No Jimmy Dore show today. keys back out because I left the window open and it's supposed to rain tonight all day tomorrow and southern Ontario is supposed to be getting like big windstorms or something anyway this is called Akana indoor cat with free run chicken and turkey 65% small prey animal ingredients hairball control and weight management uh, ideal for sterilized neutered cats, which my cats are, and fresh chicken meat, dehydrated chicken meat, dehydrated herring, whole oats, whole peas, chicken fat, ground something, miscuous grass, that's probably the stuff for their hairball, green lentils, fresh turkey meat, whole raw whole herring, whole chickpeas, whole red lentils, Fuck, I could eat this stuff. Lentil fiber, raw, raw whole rabbit, fresh chicken giblets, liver heart, fresh turkey giblets, liver heart, chicken cartilage, dried kelp. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. I hope there's taurine in there. It's supposed to be taurine, eh? Cats need tor taurine additives. Okay. Oh, there it is. 400 milligrams of tor taurine. I guess that's per cup. Anyway. I've been buying this food for a while. This is uh, $49 Canadian. Expensive, but... Oh, no, wait, no, that's not right. 50 No, $49 Canadian. But, like, this is... It's uh, 10 pounds. It'll last some time. They, uh, the cheaper stuff, they eat much faster. And I don't buy it. Like, this stuff here... I did it just because I know they like it, but it's not as good as the Akana. This is uh, pure balance. So, anyway, if they eat that faster, that's okay. All right, one more trip out there, right? Yes. Okay, Wally, watch out. Wally, Wally, hey, hey, move. You're not going to get that chip. I was thinking that I was gonna I have to start thinking about watering the plants and I never got outside to even look at them or check the trichomes today because we're getting close but uh, now with the, it's dark I'm not gonna go out there and uh, I'll be able to see uh, shit anyway there's the lunar I buy for my cats it's called naturally fresh each bag is what is this 10 pounds so that's enough for each litter box 
It's made out of uh, uh, walnut shells, ground up walnut shells. So it's safe for the cats. It's good for the environment. I, I, I put it back into, I have a compost, uh, a compost hole that I put the litter in outside. That's going to be the eventual outhouse. But anyway, it uh, it does its thing out there, and uh, so it doesn't end up in the dumps or anything like that. And then I picked up. I always get them the good uh, canned food. Like this is Wur Uva Mid East Feast with grilled tilapia and gravy. Fucking almost sounds like I want to eat it. Anyway, and then we got. Mac and Jack with mackerel and grilled skipjack now in gravy. <laughs> Anyhow, so we're stocked up good on canned food for these little fur balls. I give them a, a can each day for the three of them. And along with the good dry food, they're, uh, they're uh, my cats eat good, don't you? Hey, Mr. Blackie, you know, eh? We feed you good, hey, buddy? Yeah, Daddy wouldn't let you down, don't worry. Yeah, that's your box. Go ahead, play in your box. This box has been there for a week, and I go in there, and immediately he goes to the box. It's like he's trying to tell me that's my box. Got a good deal on toilet paper. <laughs> Cashmere. And it's it says 20 triples equals 60 singles. So three rolls in one, which, yeah, they're huge rolls, all right. And uh, I don't have any, so somebody was complaining that, uh, oh, uh, one of uh, RV Dave's friends, Scott, was complaining he was upset because they're bigger and they don't fit on his thing. And I'm like, well, who fucking cares? Put, it, put these in the shelves and then take one out and leave it on the, you know, next to the toilet. Like, what's the big deal? You're in a trailer, not a house. Anyway, I'm not bitching at the guy. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, you know, this was 20 bucks for all this. This this here, fuck, this will last me a fuck of a long time. So, now, shelving is an issue here, but we're solving that, so. But I do have a place to put it. Unfortunately, my cat likes to sleep there. So we're down to three. Oh, better check that soon. Well, I know why you're sleeping there now. This one was like 30 rolls equals 90. So I don't know. But anyway, they're soft, so it's whatever. I have the sawdust toilet. And I only go once a day anyway, so. Um, but yeah, they're fucking big rolls, eh? <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, so that finishes up that bag. Poor Wally doesn't have a place to sleep anymore with the cupboards. Wow. What are you going to do, Wally? Wally the cat's thinking, well, fuck that, man. Maybe I'll just move out. <laughs> Shoppers Drug Mart had my milk on sale. I'm so happy because usually it's like $6 a liter. And they had it on for $4.79. And it's good to November 21st. It's, you know, the pure... Well, I buy the whole milk. This is about as close as I'm going to get to real cow's milk. I mean, the unpasteurized stuff. I don't have the room to put a milk in here. That wouldn't be fair. For me to treat a cow like that, I, I would need somewhere for a decent field. I don't want to be feeding the thing chemicals and all that. Well, there we go. We got milk for at least two weeks. One thing at Chopper's Drug Mart, I was so freaked out. I have lots of milk. I don't take these often, but there were virtually no painkillers on the shelf. I've never seen that before. I didn't want to, I didn't bother to go ask anybody. It's like, what's going on here? But, uh, wow. Here's something else too, and this is this is definitely directed at fucking Jeff Bezos and Amazon, piece of shit. Um, 
Starbucks on Amazon sells eight of these packets, okay? Those are the ones I like for my coffee. You might have seen me drinking them before. They're, like the, they're the Starbucks Via Instant. This is the dark roast, which is the Italian roast. They sell these for two for $13 at the grocery store, okay? So if you buy eight of them, which is what is in one of these packs, like, uh, like Amazon sells or Starbucks on Amazon, they charge a hundred. This week they it went up to hundred and three dollars for the same amount, which is eight of these, which gets ninety six of the little singles. Okay, like you know, like thieves, complete thievery. But in this case, it's not me screaming about uh, screaming about. Um, independent grocer because they were the you know I've done a video about them being thieves but uh, you know like hello Amazon anyway so we got my pre-run eggs I should have gone to my neighbors because I got a whole bunch of these cartons for him and he's always uh, needing to get rid of his eggs anyway because his chickens they lay and lay and lay I guess but uh, whatever I need the eggs here so I got two, four, six in here, and then I still had the two left here, which gives me exactly 96. So that's more than enough coffee uh, till my next little batch of money come in. And I got the nice little box, which I thought held eight. Apparently it doesn't. Is there eight in there? No. Two, four, six. Well, why? These are supposed to hold eight. There's no room for that, or is there? No. Huh, that's weird. Because when they come from Amazon, these little boxes that they come in like this, they, they fit eight. I don't know what I did wrong here. Did I do something wrong? Or maybe it's supposed to be... No. I'll just put these two upside down at the back. Fuck it, it'll fit. There we go. Now it's nice and neat. Keep that up in the cupboard. I still drink my other coffee, but, you know, like right now I want, I'm dying for a fucking coffee. So, you know, I can get my, I don't know what I did with it. There it is. My little water boiler thing I use in the uh, microwave. Yeah, I gotta definitely put that fan on. It's stuffy in here. Uh, 3.30. In the meantime, I've still got other stuff to do. Normally, I would buy my peanuts for the squirrels um, at Bolt Farm because it's cheaper. They're loose, but I don't care. I mean, but these were really, these were 10 bucks on sale for four pounds. So that's a lot of seeds or a lot of peanuts for my, for Marvin and uh, his little wife there, um, Martha. So I got that. And I haven't bought them for a while, but they had organic uh, honey crisp on sale, so they're in nice shape. Baby.